Welcome back to School Broncos and a special welcome to all the new and transfer students. I'm Damaris Arevalo. And I'm Teresa Acosta. Damaris, doesn't it feel like we started in the middle of the semester or is it just me? I already have such a full schedule. Yes, I have to keep organized with my schedule, including having enough time to find parking just so I can get to class on time. Yes, those parking spots fill up so fast. But I'm ready to see what fall has in store for us besides endlessly circling the parking lot. There's a lot of interesting topics to discuss and catch you all up to speed today. So without further ado, let's get started on this semester's first episode of Polly Post Now. Starting off this week's headlines recap, the California State University system has enacted a new policy regarding freedom of expression. This year's Bronco Fusion showcased rapper J.I.D. as the headliner. Aside from the music, there was dancing, mini golf, and food trucks for all students to enjoy. This year, CPP received the largest freshman class in history, surpassing 26,400 students last fall. Are you both a parent and a student in need of some assistance balancing both lives? CPP's Bronco Parenting Club has specific resources to help you succeed. University President Soraya M. Colley has appointed Terry Gomez as Cal Poly Pomona Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs. More dining options have landed on campus and we'll let you know what to skip and what is worth waiting in line for. A new director was assigned to the National American Grace Protection and Repatriation Act and Cal NACPRA for CPP. And lastly, the top five smartphone apps according to CPP students to help you get through the semester and beyond. The CSU system enacted a revised time, place, and manner policy this semester. The policy addresses new and existing guidelines for students who are looking to publicly demonstrate their beliefs on CSU campuses. Things such as face coverings and creating camps to stay overnight is prohibited. According to Jason Liu, the Interim Director of Student Engagement, Leadership, and Success, this policy does not take away the ability for a person or people to publicly demonstrate or protest their beliefs or dampen their First Amendment rights, but instead creates principles for demonstrators ensuring public safety. This year's Bronco Fusion featured headliner J.I.D. and opening artist Monique Hasbun, along with CPP's very own student artists Anthony Robbins, a.k.a. Ant, and punk band Zombie Loaf open the show. If you'd like to read more on this story, you can check out our website. But for now, let's head over to Scotty for more on what went down. Welcome back, Broncos. This is Scotty in with the Poly Post. And are you ready to start cramming for exams? Not me. Even though summer may have fell short, I'm here at the Bronco Commons where Cal Poly Pomona's ASI is hosting their highly anticipated annual Bronco Fusion concert, all in hopes of giving students one last chance to party and giving them the summer closure they need. Yeah, honestly, I think um, as an alumni that went to Bronco Fusion, I really think um, Cal Poly does it a little bit different because other universities uh, will do a spring concert or end of year concert. I think for us, it's just what makes uh, like Cal Poly special is that we can, we have these 20 years of tradition with Bronco Fusion and how it's grown. And it's really just uh, a great way to kick off the year. Um, I think you start the year on a, on a high note and then hopefully continue that on throughout the whole entire year. And so I think it's just what makes Cal Poly special and it makes us, what's, it makes us um, unique in terms of our big concert as compared to other campuses around you know, our, our neighborhood. This year, ASI invited well-known hip hop artist J.I.D. This stirred quite a lot of hype within CPP students, and the community's favoritism towards hip hop pulled many eyes toward this year's Bronco Fusion. I'm really excited. I think in 2022, he dropped the best album of the year, and I hope he plays Cody Blue 31. Along with headliner J.I.D. and opening act Monique Hasbin, ASI highlighted two student artists this year with DJ and producer Ant, as well as punk rock band Zombie Loaf. This opportunity for student artists to perform at such a large scale event not only provides them with exposure to an audience that may have left them under the radar, but marks a bit of a stepping stone in their careers. Having that kind of 
like dedication is just pull up to a show, bring your gear, your equipment, and then on top of that, rehearse before the show. It like kind of feels like it's being paid off in some sort of way because those shows kind of are what lead to, you know, future people, you know, voting for you to get into these type of things. And, you know, I just want people to know, even if it's a show with like 10 or 12 people or even five people, just know that those people are going to follow your account. They're going to like stay dedicated to you if you're, you know, putting in the work and the effort and you're a kind, friendly face that everyone can relate to. So I think that's the biggest thing that we're going to be feeling when we play. In addition to our talented student artists warming up the crowds for what they've all been anticipating, opening act Monique Hasbin performed a variety of songs covering vastly different cultures and genres of music. The 24-year-old singer describes herself as an artist who is poised for global stardom through her unique, multicultural, and genre-bending approach to music. As a self-taught singer-songwriter since the age of 12, her goal has always been to incorporate her culture into her music. Oh my god, you guys are so fun! And it was funny because I had like songs for the girls and songs for the guys, and I was like, I want to hear the girls scream, but you guys are so fun, I want to come back. If you're the type to easily get FOMO, like myself, don't worry, as ASI holds this event every academic year and is constantly trying to improve upon it. Plus, there are plenty of upcoming ASI events throughout the entirety of the semester, which you can find out on their website. Anyways, that's it from me at Bronco Fusion. Let us know what you thought of the event and maybe give us possibly your personal choice for a future Bronco Fusion. You know, my personal favorite would, be, would probably be like Toby Lou or Biba Doobie. You know, just saying, so let's get to that. ASI Top Top. But for now, this has been Skying In with the Polypost. This year, our school received the largest group of freshmen recorded in CPP history, with an estimated 26,800 Broncos, including new, returning, and transfer students. CPP has been fortunate to avoid a large decline of incoming freshmen during the pandemic and has been able to keep a steady enrollment. But this year, they set a goal of reaching 26,000 to 26,500 incoming students, which is probably why I can never find parking. Cal Poly Pomona, along with the Bronco Parenting Club, offers a variety of resources to student parents that need some extra help, such as priority registration to help you plan your class schedule better, a family space in the library, lactation stations, and a children's center. The Bronco Parenting Club also hosts several events throughout the year, like the Family Carnival in University Park on September 26th. And you can check out their website for more info. After the sudden removal of Provost and Vice President Jennifer Brown in October of 2023, Terry Gomez has been appointed to take over the position after serving as an interim. Provost Gomez has a history at CPP as a professor in the Department of Women and Ethnic Studies, Department Chair and Interim Associate in the College of Education and Integrative Studies, Associate Vice President and Assistant Provost for Student Success. And of course, Provost Gomez aims to continue prioritizing student success as she has been throughout her tenure at CBP. More dining options are now available to students on campus, with two new food share vending machines on campus serving hot, out-of-the-oven items, including pizza, mac and cheese, and a lava cake. Additionally, Innovation Brewworks spawned an offshoot called The Patio, serving a menu that is similar to Brewworks and located in the space where Round Table used to be. Try it out and let us know how you like it. Desiree Renee Martinez is officially appointed as the new Director of Tribal Relations, the National American Graves Protection and Repatriation Act in Kalnakbra for CPP. One of Martinez's objective goals is to ensure the campus compliance with state and federal legislation through CSU new NACBRA and Kalnakbra implementation policy. Martinez is now leading a new position after reconstructing a previous position on the Presidential Advisory Board and you can visit our website for more info. Smartphone apps are a must-have during your time in college. We asked the campus community to share their most used apps that can help you succeed in your college years, and here's what they said. Spotify for music listening and sharing, Canvas for contacting professors and submitting assignments, Dual Mobile for that pesky two-factor authentication requirement, Discord for gaming with friends and as an easy way to chat with your whole class when you need help with homework. And finally, Grubhub, to order ahead and avoid those long lines during lunchtime. What are your most used apps? Let us know in the comment section below. Besides the start of a brand new school year, our sports teams also started their preseason and we are excited to see what Broncos have in store for us. 
It's the start of fall season sports, and I bet our Broncos are already warmed up and ready to attack this semester head on. Let's head over to Samantha now to see how our teams are holding up over on Potty Post Sports. What's up Broncos? My name is Samantha Campion and I hope everyone enjoyed their time off and cheered on Team USA at the Paris Olympics. What a run for the women of Team USA accounting for 65% of USA's gold medals. Speaking of women's sports, Bronco Volleyball returns three All-Americans and women's soccer looks to repeat as CCAA regular season champions after earning the program's first this past season. School is back in session, which means fall sports are back in action this week as they take on their preseason non-conference schedules. Let's take a look at some of the latest additions to our programs, upcoming schedules, and more in this semester's first segment of Polypost Sports. Starting off with men's basketball, Cal Poly Pomona extends a warm welcome to their new assistant coach, Noel Radley. Radley came to CPP from the University of Washington, where he spent time as a video and analytics coordinator. According to head coach Greg Kamansky, Radley brings a new offensive strategy to the Broncos, as well as enthusiasm for the game, and their players seem to be responding well to the changes. Staying on track of new additions, CPP Baseball's Anthony Mizrahi was promoted from program associate to assistant coach for this upcoming season. Mizrahi joined the program in 2020 and has contributed to the Broncos' 109-74 and overall record in three consecutive NCAA appearances. Best of luck to you this season, Broncos. As we take a look into our sports schedules this fall, your number 21 ranked Bronco volleyball team has set up their season with an opening tournament this past weekend at Cal State San Bernardino starting on Thursday, September 5th with three top 20 ranked opponents according to the American Volleyball Coaches Association, St. Cloud State, Chaminade, and Seattle Pacific. The CCAA preseason polls dropped last week and the Broncos sit at number two behind defending national champions Cal State LA. Along with three players named to the CCAA watch list, senior setter Katie Miller and outside hitter duo Madison Novak and yours truly Samantha Campion. Keeping the ball rolling, next up men's soccer was also ranked number two in the CCAA preseason polls with four players named to the CCAA watch list. Junior forwards Mad Fredrickson and Sam Lena along with junior defender Marcus Johnson and senior defender Jasper Winslow. The Broncos had their first home opener on September 7th against Point Loma and if you missed it you can catch live stream replays on broncosathletics.com. Moving on to the women's soccer team, the Broncos are coming off their first regular season CCAA title in history. With an impressive 11-5-3 overall record last season, they received the number one spot in the CCAA preseason polls. Six players were named to the CCAA watch list, junior defender Liberty Ortiz, senior forwards Tara O'Pair and Jacqueline Cuevas, senior midfielder Auburn Burnett, junior midfielder Marissa Salazar, and goalkeeper Bella Hera. The Broncos also begin their championship quest with the home opener against Vanguard Thursday, September 5th at 7 p.m. Wrapping up our fall sports with cross country. Both cross country teams ranked within the top three in the CCAA preseason polls. The men's teams look to return to the NCAA championship for their 24th appearance led by five athletes named to the CCAA watch list. Leonardo Candre, Daniel Chaveste, Tom McDonald, Ricardo Vargas, and Francisco Zavaleta. The women's team is still reaching for their first NCAA appearance behind junior Vivian Martinez following an 8th place finish in CCAA watchlist honors. That is all for today Broncos. As the fall season starts to heat up, make sure to stay tuned for more Poly Post Sports this semester. And keep up with all things Bronco Sports at BroncoAthletics.com, where they stream live games on this Flow Sports Network. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Samantha Campion and I'll see you again next time on Poly Post Sports. Thank you for this week's sports recap, Samantha, and we wish you and the volleyball team the best of luck this season. I plan on catching some of those and other sports games live on the website. Which means I have to start getting my semester rolling too, otherwise it'll end before I know it. But that's all for today's episode, Broncos. Tune in again next time with us here at Potty Post Now. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when the latest episode comes out. And check out our website at thepolypost.com for more leading news content. But for now, I'm Teresa Acosta. And this is Demaris Arevalo. Have, Have a, a wonderful, wonderful semester, semester and study hard, Broncos. Broncos.